Crafty community, this is Sherry. Welcome to this premiere demo and live chat for the annual My Heart of Thanksgiving event hosted by Melissa of PinkPaperPeppermints.com. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this is the last day of week three. <laughs> it feels like we just started. You should definitely check out all the pictures that have been posted on Melissa's blog and on Instagram under the hashtag MyHeartOfThanksgiving23. I have been sincerely blessed to see all of the faith-filled posts of my sisters in Christ, and there's so much inspiration for my own faith journaling. If you want more information about My Heart of Thanksgiving or you want to jump in and join us, it really isn't too late. All of the relevant links are in the description box below. Please be sure today to participate in the live chat so that you won't miss the prize. And here is the Instagram, email, shop, and pink paper peppermints information. Again, it's all in the description box below. Now, if you're viewing this video and the live premiere has already passed, don't worry, all of the prizes for all of the demos will be bundled and available in the pink paper peppermint shop. As a matter of fact, there's already one bundle ready to go. This year's theme for my heart of Thanksgiving is the King's Daughter. I get a little sheepish, honestly, calling myself the King's Daughter, but it is really important to acknowledge your identity in Christ because if you don't know who you are in Christ, the devil will come along and he will offer you a multitude of suggestions of who you are, none of which are true and all of which are designed to crush your spirit and ruin your faith. In this week's devotion, Melissa pointed out the importance of speaking God's word aloud to combat Satan's fiery darts. So I would like to start today by saying Colossians chapter 1 verses 12 through 14 aloud as like a declaration for us. We give thanks to the Father who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved son in whom we have redemption and the forgiveness of sins. I am the king's daughter and that is who I am and I will always be that individual. And I'm so grateful that the Lord has made me his daughter. That gets me through a lot of life's difficulties, remembering who my father is. And he is truly the answer to every need and every question that I have. I want to just flip through real quick. I, I flipped through the last time I did a demo. There's a few new things in there. I just love this um, cathedral window. I made a little uh, hidden journaling card on there and uh, have kept it here in week one. That's something kind of new that I didn't show before. Here I have a little tag that I made into a pocket and this is the page about casting your cares. So I put things on this little tiny scroll that um, are cares that I tend to maybe worry about or spend too much time thinking about and put them on the scroll and, and giving them to Jesus. This I've already showed you. I've got these leaves. They were a demo prize for Reed, one of Rita's um, demos. And I showed you this last time. This is new. It's just a simple um, piece of ephemera. I trust in you, O oh Lord, for who you are is all I need. I got that out of the devotion. So lovely. I, I put MHOT 2023 on here. I really like this piece of ephemera. You guys, if you've been watching, you've seen my little castle turrets and um, another lady in our group made a castle turret and um, when you turn hers over, um, she has painted the backs of the flag. So I got that idea from her and I'm so sorry I don't remember her name right now, but I'm really grateful for her idea. And then uh, for week two, really standing was the main takeaway for me. Um, I made this tiny little booklet. Uh, it may look like I'm surrounded, you know, that Michael W. Smith song, but I'm surrounded by you. And it reminded me of that video or that movie, The Bear. I think it was uh, released in 1988. And in it, there's, it's a story of a growing up of a bear. And this little bear loses his mother early on in his life. 
And at one point in the story, he's being chased by a puma. It doesn't look good for him. The puma starts um, smacking him around and he's bleeding and he finds his roar when he faces the puma and the puma gets scared and runs away. And then the camera pans back to the dad, the dad bear behind him roaring. And it reminds me of, of the Lord. And I am not able to face alone the, the, uh, Satan and his, and his weapons of his warfare, but I'm not alone. I have my father, the king. And so I always think of that and then I watch it and then I cry. <laughs> so I made this little booklet. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. And then here's a little, you are a princess, not because you have a prince, but because your father is the king and he is God. And he will not allow us to um, be defeated by Satan. He's already taking care of it. He's already taking care of it. And so Satan can throw his fiery darts. He can lash out. He can attack. He has weapons. But we have God's armor and and we have our weapons that God has given us. I've This was what I did the demo last time. Um, I did some embossing and made the, this little thing to hold that in. This is like the, um, what is it called? Cascading fold. Cascading fold booklet where it folds out. I, I've shown that to you guys before. And then um, in this one, I have it in week two near the prompt, but it also applies to week three. I like to chart things. I'm a very spatial learner. And so charting things is real important to me. And on in this chart, I have some of the common lies that Satan likes to whisper to me. And he has his various ways of saying them. And then um, on this side, I have the truth of God's word that combats that lie. So like for one example, um, I'm our children's church director. And sometimes he tells me that my ministry to the kids is not important. But I say, let the little, Jesus said, let the little children come to me, do not hinder them. And the truth is that it is important. Jesus himself has stated that it's important. So there's an example of that. For you this is a pretty neat little thing to do if you're a spatial learner like me um and actually it was very easy I'm, i'll just show you real quick bonus bonus project ladies okay so what you do is you take your paper um you know what i cut my paper that's right i cut it to nine and a half by seven and a half but you fold it in half twice so that it's long and skinny and then you open it up and you glue this part down so that you have this side, this side, and then you have the flip between them. And it, it can be used for a lot of things. It can be used before Christ, after Christ. Um, it can be used uh, Old Testament, New Testament, I don't know. I'm, I'm just kind of spitballing at, at this point, but it's a neat thing to do. So, and that's how I did that. Just one piece of paper. I didn't have to cut. I didn't have to measure. After I folded it like this, I went ahead and folded it again and drew the lines, but you can, um, you can fold it fewer times or you can just write and then draw your lines and then cut your pieces. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. And that is that. Now, this week, what I'm going to show you, I'm pretty excited about, is a Happy Mail Pocket. Woohoo! And what I really love about this Happy Mail Pocket is that it takes one piece of eight and a half by 11 paper, and you do not have to measure anything, and it is versatile. I'm really excited to show it to you. Here's one variation of the pocket. It's in my journal, uh, so it doesn't have to be for Happy Meal. And uh, it's super, super fun, super easy. If you have a piece of paper near you, you might want to try this. Uh, we are featuring in this demo the King's Daughters papers. There's so many papers. This this set that I'm showing you, the preview of, has 40 papers, but there's a whole bunch more papers. And I love all the papers. Recently, uh, the, okay, there's just a lot of papers. I'm sorry. I'm losing my, my train of thought here and I don't want to do that. Okay, ladies. So this 
Happy Mail Pocket. All you do is, oh, I've seen this done. I've seen this done before, but um, I think I want to turn it this way. Yeah, I, I've seen it done different ways. And this was just, after a while of practicing, this is just what the way I like to do it. Um, because there was no, like I said, no measuring or anything like that. So basically you just lay it so that it is horizontal. You bring the right hand corner up, but not all the way to the edge. Okay, so you're gonna have maybe an inch, it looks like an inch, whatever floats your boat. I'm kind of looking for a perfect square if I were to finish this right here. So I guess I could, you know, kind of use these as my, as my thing, and then you just crease it. And you have this. Then you bring the bottom right over again, and you kind of eyeball it, like I said, and um, I kind of want it to be a little bit wide, but not, you know, not overwhelmingly wide because I want to put it in an envelope. And then you flip that and bring the bottom right hand side over again. And this time I'm going to bring it so that this corner goes to that corner. So when you look at it, it's got these two little peaks here, and then it's got these sticking out. You can either glue those down like that if you want to, or I have been cutting them, and then I've been sewing the perimeter. You can, I've seen them uh, where, I'm just cutting off the excess. I have seen these where they left the peaks and they look really cool. I have been um, cutting off the peaks, and the reason why is because it's Happy Mail. And so I wanted to fit in the envelope. You can get uh, envelopes that they fit into easily at Walmart, these pen and gear envelopes, and they even have a closure with them. So I could stuff this pretty good and it would still fit in that envelope. And then there's paper studio envelopes, which are always on sale. I got, how many is in here? I don't know, something like 20 <laughs> envelopes for $1.24, which is really great, and it fits in there too. So that is how you make this Happy Mail. You can glue it shut, staple it shut, sew it shut, which is what I'm going to do, or tape it shut with washi tape. And you have one, two, three pockets on this side and one, two, three pockets on that side. What do you think? I mean, that's pretty simple. And look at that, it comes out so cute. I uh, embellished this one with a little bit of lace and a little banner here, like a fishtail banner and some flower buttons and a flower. I put a tea bag in here, a journaling card, a bookmark, which was a, um, this bookmark was a newsletter gift for the King's Daughter. There's three of them and they're all very pretty. So that's a, a bookmark, it fits in there very nicely. And then on the back in these three pockets, another journaling card. Here's, they're called Love Bombs, You Inspire Me. Um, you can put prayers. I made a list of things you could put. Let's see, in, in my October journal. <laughs> also pink paper peppermints. Happy Mail pocket items, gift cards, tags, tea bags, cocoa, bookmark, washi sample, mini envelope, mini card, postcard, recipe, a list, a mail tag, a sequence mix, a shaker card, prayer, a doily, a journal card, a photo, a shaker card. Oops, that's on there twice, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> a crossword, a puzzle page, a newspaper article. And you could go on and on and on. I'll bet you guys could put some things in our chat that I didn't even think of. And that's like 25 things there. So there's so much that you can do with that. That is the Happy Mail Pocket and that is two-sided. Now, if you want to make a journaling card using this method, let me grab, oh, and isn't the paper so pretty? It's so beautiful. So I printed this for, for uh, to show you about the journaling card, okay. So you take the bottom right hand corner, bring it up, kind of eyeball it the way you want it. And then you bring, you turn it so that it looks like mountains 
and you bring the bottom over. And again, it says, why did you want it to be? That's so pretty. And then instead of turning it and bringing the bottom over like this, you just bring it to the front, like over across the front. Instead of bringing it around the back, you bring that flap over across the front. And then you could glue this over here, sew it, and you have a pocket for your journal. And again, you can leave the peaks on or you can take them off. It doesn't really matter, but isn't that so pretty? Um, let me show you. Here's, here's what it would look like if you had single-sided printed paper. So you've got your, it's still really pretty. Um, oh, here's another one of those bookmarks. Aren't they so pretty? And then um, in this one, I put an apple, oh, an apple cider package. You could fit a hot cocoa package, an apple cider package, and a little more ephemera there. And I have, oh, I should let you know that I used ordinary printer paper because the um, thicker paper is a little too bulky, especially if you're gonna send it in the mail. Okay, oh yeah, and then this is an example of the, um, if you wanna make a journaling card that you would either glue into your journal or, or tape into your journal. So the back is, is not a pocket per se. And then this would be one, two, three, four, four pockets in there. And you know, you can embellish it with lace or whatever. Okay, that is what I have for you ladies. Um, I wanna show you my demo prize real quick. Okay, let's see, I printed it out, it's so pretty. Giant journaling tags, and I love the silver and gray in this kit. It's so lovely, it's so elegant. So that is the prize for participating today. Thank you so much for joining us. I want to show you who's going to be up next. Tomorrow morning, we will have Melissa with the beginning of week four, and I'm really looking forward to it. I get so many good ideas. Okay, where's my calendar? Here it is. We'll have Melissa with the beginning of week four. And then on Tuesday, we are going to have Melissa, not Melissa O, but Melissa Nueva, and she'll be doing her premiere at 10 a.m. Central Standard. So tomorrow it is Melissa from Pink Paper Peppermints, and she's doing hers at 10 a.m. Central Standard. And then on Tuesday, it's Melissa N, and she's doing hers at 10 a.m. Central Standard also. Don't forget to post your pics in, on Instagram and to link it on the blog, ladies. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to sign up for this year's My Heart of Thanksgiving to receive your free starter kit if you haven't done that already. And oh, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>